So by now, I'm sure that you've seen at least one viral video featuring a Donald Trump supporter melting down and claiming that the results of the election are illegitimate. Because of course, since Donald Trump is saying it, by definition, it has to be true because everything he says is gospel if you are a Donald Trump supporter. Now, listen, I think that most people who support Donald Trump, they probably have already reckoned with the fact that it's over for him. But there's a portion of the population who support Donald Trump who are diehards. They're part of this MAGA cult. And anything that he says, they think it basically is as good as gospel. And I don't mean that to be hyperbolic. I mean that because they hang on every single word that he says. So if the president says this election was fraudulent. Even if there is zero evidence, they're going to regurgitate exactly what he says. So we've seen the videos, but we haven't really seen anyone speak to these people and ask them why they think this election is fraudulent. And this video from CNN features a reporter who actually went to one of these so-called Stop the Steal protests and talked to them. And um, I want to see what they have to say because... I think this is important. Um, these are folks who actually believe the election was stolen. So when they're asked for evidence, what are they going to say? So let's see. Oh, and I didn't have, there we go. Call Stop the Steal protests. Seen as Donnie O'Sullivan asked some demonstrators in Pennsylvania why they think incorrectly the election was stolen. It's legal for them to count votes in Pennsylvania two days after the yes. election on November 3rd. Yes. Yes. You're wrong. Go. I don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> she doesn't even want to hear facts. Okay. If it takes them a while to count the votes, are you honestly proposing, lady, that we throw those votes out? Like, do you want to throw them in a dumpster, burn them? What do you, what do you propose we do with them? This is what we always fucking do. It's not unusual to take time counting the votes. Sometimes it takes a while. It's going to take longer because there's a lot of mail-in ballots. We're pretty quick at counting them in Oregon because we've been doing it here for years. But, I mean, no state certifies the results of the election right away. It takes a while. So the fact that you're proposing that it's nefarious that they're counting the votes and it's taking time, I mean, this lady is just stupid. I'm sorry, that sounds crass, but she... She drank the Kool-Aid. She's too far gone. There's no turning back. She's literally angry that the votes are being counted. That's democracy. That's democracy. I don't know what you expect, lady. That is fucking democracy. And to even, like, tell her otherwise is absurd. Like, she, she brushes you aside. She doesn't even want to hear it. You can't get through to people like this. You, you just can't. I believe that Donald Trump won the election. I believe that they... Facts don't care about your feelings, Snowflake. I just steal the election. Evidence, evidence, anything. Cite something. They got jack shit. Stop the Steal, a movement of Trump supporters that gained hundreds of thousands of followers online in the hours after the election, has inspired protests across the country. It's funny, I wonder, do these people think that Republicans stole the House and the Senate, or is it only a stolen election because it's one that didn't go their way? Like, did Democrats just rig it enough to steal the presidential election, but didn't bother to steal the House? I mean, they lost ground in the House. We don't know if Democrats are going to take control of the Senate. Uh, Democrats lost in a key state against Mitch McConnell. I guess they forgot to rig that one. Is it only a rigged election if it doesn't go your way? Like, I'm just curious because there's zero evidence, zero evidence that it's been stolen. They're just citing what Donald Trump said as evidence. And that's not evidence because Donald Trump can't even articulate why he believes the election has been stolen. All of a sudden now we're hearing about all of these illegal votes that have been cast. What is an illegal vote? What does that mean? He's implying that, oh, well, dead people are voting. No, that's not happening. The voter fraud rate is 0.0025%. It is statistically insignificant. So to the extent that voter fraud exists, it is not anywhere near enough to actually tilt the election. And the reason why voter fraud isn't a common phenomenon is because, like, there's very little payoff. It's a felony. So you're going to commit voter fraud to get, like, an extra three votes for some shitty politician? Who's going who's gonna to want to do that? I mean, it happens once in a while. 
but it's not like it only benefits Democrats. Sometimes Republicans commit voter fraud, but I don't even worry about that because, again, the number is so small that it is statistically insignificant. So this is not an issue. Voter fraud is something that Republicans talk about because they want to use it as a justification to do voter suppression, limit the number of polling stations, purge people from the, vo the voting rolls illegally. That's what this is about. And these suckers eat it up because they don't know any better. The ballots that you said you saw are lying around the place or in trash cans or whatever. He says that he saw ballots. Okay, did you take a picture? I'm assuming you have a smartphone with a camera. You didn't take a picture of this? You could be showing this reporter. No, you, you saw the ballots though. Okay, I saw a unicorn yesterday. Just believe me. I didn't take a picture, but believe me. That's not evidence. These people are so frustrating. Sure. Where are you hearing that from? Oh, uh, I mean, it's there. The videos are going viral everywhere. Uh, I've seen them on TikTok. I've seen them on Facebook. I've seen them on Fox News. I've seen them on the local news. What are in these videos? Describe them. Now, I know that he's going to refer to the uh, bag of ballots that were being burned. Uh, Trump Jr. or maybe it was Eric Trump shared that video. Uh, these are not real ballots. These are sample ballots or fake ballots. They're not real ballots. And even if these were real ballots, would that be an issue? Of course it would be. But if you see one video of like 30 ballots being burned, is that really enough to say the entire election is fraudulent? Could they even make a case as to why that would, you know, be applicable to the rest of the country? Could they articulate why some ballots being burned means the entire election in every single state that we lost is fraudulent? Of course not. And they don't even bother to look into this and figure out why, uh, whether or not, you know, the, these videos are, are factual. It's just feelings over facts. Around my area. I've seen too much pieces of different evidence so far that show. Site one. Name it. That at this point, I would be okay with a revote. A revote because she's seen the evidence. Okay, well, what's the evidence? Do you have it with you? You're at a protest. Stop the steal. You know, I'm sure you had to anticipate someone from media showing up. So why wouldn't you supply the media who will report on this with the uh, evidence that you have? Because you don't have jack fucking shit. Yeah, absolutely. When you have video footage of people taking bags of ballots and showing that they are for Donald Trump and lighting them on fire. I, helped right I bet that it was a, a Trump supporter who actually did this as well. Fact check on CNN on, on that particular video. The election officials said that video has been going around for a few days. Uh, they are printout ballots. They're not real ballots. You, so you use the information of the election officials. Somebody like me comes along, what tries else do to you research use? it, tries to fact check it, and then I fact check it. You'll come back and say, well, the election officials would say that. But wouldn't they, though? That's the thing, though. Question everything, right? Question everything, right? But don't question what Donald Trump says. Like, when you say question everything, you don't really mean question everything. You mean question the narratives that I don't like. Question the facts that I don't like, question the data that I don't like, question the networks that I don't like. But if Fox News says something, I don't need to question that. If OAN says something, Fox, uh, Donald Trump, I don't have to question that. So you don't really mean question everything. You're lying. Not gonna steal this election from the video actually showed sample ballots, not real ballots. The video's assertion is false, but even the president's son tweeted it to his millions of followers. Election officials in Virginia, where the sample ballots were from, told CNN they had spent days trying to correct the online misinformation. When we went to bed on election night, when they told us they stopped counting, we woke up and there was a vertical spike right for Biden. 130,000 votes approximately. That's when I knew there was a problem. Now Okay, so I'm guessing that he's talking about mail-in ballots, but Donald Trump for months has been saying that mail-in ballots are insecure. They're sending them out unsolicited, so it's not safe to vote by mail. So is it really surprising that in these states where they count the mail-in ballots after the in-person votes, that most of those mail-in ballots are from Democrats because Donald Trump has conditioned Republicans to not want to vote by mail? I, like, I, I just don't understand the controversy, why this is so shocking. It's like Donald Trump says, don't vote by mail. And then when his supporters don't vote by mail, then he's like, well, why are none of these mail-in ballots 
coming in that support me. And when he says, oh, well, what about the military ballots that are by mail? Like mail-in ballots are still ticking up for him. It's just that Joe Biden has more of them. So I just, I just don't, I don't understand where this is coming from. And I think that really what this is about is their emotions. They don't want to believe the results. This is cognitive dissonance. And since Donald Trump said it's been rigged, then they're like, oh, that's fucking good enough for me. Donald Trump can tell me that the sky is uh, green. And I believe them because Donald Trump would never lie to us. He's only lied about like a million other things. But Donald Trump wouldn't lie to us. As my buddy Steve Bannon says, if you're going to lie, be believable about it. As your buddy Steve Bannon says that, don't you think that Donald Trump would um, be uh, <laughs> trying to do a little bit more believable lies. I mean, again, what evidence has he put forward that this election has been stolen? He has presented us with no evidence. The lawsuits that he is uh, filing have been thrown out across the country. He's had some victories on inconsequential procedural grounds that aren't going to change the result. So, I mean... If you're going to lie, yeah, be believable. Come up with some fucking evidence. Because you do not have 138,000 votes come in and 135,000 of them come in for Biden. This is what I think you guys might have been talking about on, on election night. Michigan, 138,000. This was from a website called Decision Desk HQ. But they came out and they said... We messed up. There was an error in how votes came back and reported, yeah. and that's why there was this spike in the map. Yeah. Uh, but you know, the election officials uh, in Michigan then all confirmed to say yes, there was this error. They are not real ballots. Those ballots never existed. President Trump. If you saw, I don't know, um, they were holding up an Infowars. Yeah, a little Infowars uh, sticker right there. Uh, so these people get their news from a website who thinks that uh, chemicals in the water is turning the frogs gay, uh, who literally believes in reptilians, that they're living among us and they're wearing the skin of uh, human beings and there are politicians. Um, Infowars host Alex Jones brought someone on the program who detailed a really extensive pedophile ring uh, that's happening on Mars. Like children are taken to Mars to be assaulted like this is this is the source that we're citing infowars again like these people don't you can't fact check them because when you're trying to present them with facts and evidence or just clarify things they already made up their minds like th this is all about their feelings and they don't want to accept that donald trump lost now again i don't think that most trump supporters are like this i think this is probably a very vocal minority um but still, you know, to have this much people think that the election was stolen all because the Trump, the president tweeted this is a little bit alarming. It never existed. President Trump himself even shared a post about the Michigan error. Twitter labeled his post as misinformation. Are you concerned that just as how people on the left can fall for misinformation, that maybe sometimes you... Oh, I'm sure, yes. Uh, there, uh, no, I'm, I mean, I, I'm very thorough with the information I look at. Um, I have my opinions, obviously, but I'm not just going to uh, go around um, retweeting blatantly false information or things that I believe that are just... It's just, I look at things that are suspicious. Some people at the protest told us the delays in news outlets projecting a winner contributed to their belief that Biden stole the election. Put America first, or else it's going to be America last. Stand together. You don't think there's any way Trump... I just want to point out that this reporter is the only one basically wearing a mask. Last. Yikes. Yeah. Really? Yes. How do you go from almost losing 200,000 in five hours, you're down to... 30,000 votes away from winning. A lot of Democrats voted in the mail, they voted absentee, they voted before uh, election day. And in a lot of states, those election day votes got counted first. That's why Trump had that early lead. And then once those other votes started getting counted, that is how Biden caught up and, and So overtook. where are all the Trump ballots that were mailed in? Well, uh, why are we finding them laying around in different places? But where are you finding them? Everybody not to mail it in, right? That's why there's so much more mail-in Democratic nah, votes, that's... no? No. <laughs> it, doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't matter what you say to them. When you ask them for evidence, 
they can't say anything when you present them with a reason why things are happening the way that they're happening and explain that it's not nefarious or su suspicious they still reject it it's a lost fucking cause don't let dead people vote dead people are not voting jackass just because Donald Trump said it doesn't make it a reality. And they point to, uh, you know, dead people voting. Uh, the evidence for that is basically, oh, well, there's dead people on the voter rolls. Right. The voter rolls get purged on a regular basis. When people die, they get taken off the rolls. They don't vote. It's ridiculous that they say things like this. Um, it, it just it makes them look very stupid and ignorant. Claims alleging voter fraud spread on social media. Facebook and Twitter labeled some as misinformation. I think that's wrong. I think I, that's not their place. We're like one big science experiment for social media. If I'm seeking a, a certain viewpoint and I seem to, and they seem to see that I favor that viewpoint more, that's the viewpoint that they're going to feed me. And then the other side's going to get a different viewpoint. Does that concern you as a Facebook user? I mean, it concerns me, yes, because of the fact that, unfortunately, people fail to think for themselves. They feed into everything that they're seeing without <laughs> the questioning. Irony. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony that just went right over her head. It's, it's completely lost on her. Look, this is what I expected. Um, I'm honestly shocked that they even were willing to speak to someone with the camera, a reporter. Uh, because oftentimes they are hostile towards the media, but I think that because he didn't have like any CNN or uh, logo on him, at least that I that I saw, that kind of gave him plausible deniability. But these people, they, they don't care. Like they've come to the conclusion uh, based on their emotions, not on facts. So presenting them with that evidence, like it's not going to do anything because this isn't a group of people who are operating you know using logic or they're not persuadable it, it doesn't matter what you show them it doesn't matter they've arrived at that conclusion and the only thing that can change their mind is if donald trump were to say i was wrong it wasn't stolen guys i was lying because i wanted to save face in case i lost because it would be embarrassing i don't want to be a one-term president but he's not going to do that so um as a result these folks are gonna believe everything that he says because they hang on to every single word that he says because this is a large fucking cult and um yeah that's <laughs> that's that there's nothing left to say about this it is super depressing that we have so many americans in this country who literally could not care less about facts or data and evidence but if you if you ask them about that they'd say oh well no, no you don't care about facts the fact is that this election was stolen. So we're like living in George Orwell's 1984. And um, if I say that, they would cite Orwell and that I'm the reason why we're in George Orwell's 1984. Like, words don't mean anything. We're in a post-factual era. The best that we can do is hope that people come to their senses and try to not be so gullible and duped by politicians who don't care about them. They just care about their own asses. And until that happens... Um, yeah, we're going to get situations like this where we have the dumbest people rise to power and they still have this like huge base of support that's incredibly enthusiastic and will never abandon them no matter what. It's it sucks, but um, you know, it's a fact of reality. So, yeah. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.